So, this is very important. In Brahm Samhita, I told you, I'll talk about Lord Shiva also, don't worry. And what Lord Shiva says, what, is our, what are his instructions? What are his instructions? So, Ravan basically used to not follow Lord Shiva. He had a temple of Lord Shiva. Today, the way the people are claiming, I think so, no one is equal to Ravana as a devotee of Lord Shiva. If we talk, we talk on devotee terms, which normal people talk of devotee terms. Is anyone there, Ramji? Equal to Ravan in worshipping Lord Shiva? But then also he was called an Asura. He was a Rakshas. Why? Why was he called a Rakshas? Why was he called a Rakshas? Because he never used to obey the Lord. And that's what we are doing in life. Are we not doing that? Do you know the instructions of the Lord? Well, no. Then, how your devotee? Devotee means who is devoted to follow the person whom to he is devoted. Be very clear about this. So, God has a personal feature. This we have talked about. And now he is, I am going ahead now. I have explained to you that he says that I am also... Brahmano hi pratishtaham. Brahma means the impersonal feature also of the Lord has got any meaning is due to him. Pratishtha. It is the shelter is who? Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna is not taking the shelter of, shelter of Brahm. The Brahm is taking the shelter of Lord Krishna. Krishna says very clearly in, in Gita. So this is very very important this because uh, the Shastras go to the extent. I'll tell you one thing. The, the Shastras nowhere quote if a person is a person believes in the personal personal form of the Lord should be not heard. But you know, Padam Puran states that a person who does not believe in the personal form of the Lord, he should not be heard also. It stated, if you hear the name of Ram and Krishna from such a person, it is like milk touched by the snake. It will ruin your spiritual life. When I read this shloka, I got a shock of my life. And then I, I tried to understand, why is it saying so? Ramji, would you like your name to be taken by your friend of yours or your enemy? Both will take the same name. Is it same or different? different. Right? So then I understood, yes, the Shastra is talking about sense. You are taking the name of the Lord, but you don't believe in the Lord. Where do you believe in the Lord? Ultimately, if you say there is no Lord, nothing. There is no Lord, no God. So that's why Padam Puran states they make this statement. That one should not hear also from the Krishna Katha or Ram Katha from the mouth of a person who is an impersonalist. We call it Nirakarvad, Nirveshesvad, Mayavad. Who do not believe that there is a personal form of the Lord, which is eternal. I'm not talking a personal form of the Lord, which they say that at Brahm, in Brahm there was some Maya. Little bit of Maya got connected, and then that less Maya was there, so that person who came down became was an avatar. Ultimately, is impersonal. Now you talk of Advaita philosophy, then you talk of Maya. How can the two things exist? Advaita means one only. So this is very important. It's common sense actually. It's common sense. So when you move ahead. He is the compiler, knower, and only to be known by the Vedas. He is the compiler, knower, and the person to be known by Vedas. Veda means, remember one thing, when I talk of Veda, when I use the word Veda, remember you just immediately connect to knowledge. So what does he say? Listen to this. Sarvasya chaham hirde sanivishto sarvasya Cha aham. Sarvasya means what? All. Cha aham. Hirde sanivishto. I am in everyone's heart. Again, he's, same thing I repeated. Hirdi. There the word was used. Hirdi. He has used Sarvasya. Cha aham. Hirdi sanivishto. Again, hirdi. That wished. Everyone. Mata smritir gyanam apohanam cha. Mata. I gave smritir. Memory. Jnana means knowledge and apoham means forgetfulness. When you want to forget God, He gives you the intelligence to forget Him. Remember one thing. 
very clear lord says i don't uh, i don't do anything whatever you do a desire i fulfill you want to forget me i'll give you the intelligence to forget me if you want to remember me i'll give you the intelligence to remember me a very simple thing then he says vedesya cha sarvair aham eva vedyo vedant krid veda vid eva cha aham i am seated in everyone's heart and from me come remembrance forget knowledge and forgetfulness by all the vedas i am to be known indeed i am the compiler of vedanta and i am the knower of the vedas he is the compiler dharmam tu sakshat bhagavat pranidham and vedas are the book of dharma so they have come from the lord and what is the goal i am to be known and when we say god has to be known try to understand what are we trying to do we are not trying to know god so now when we try to know god so what will happen i am a part of god so i should know myself now you understanding this when you take brahma gyan what happens when you take brahma gyan that is uh, brahm means in itself spiritual when you take spiritual knowledge then you take para brahma gyan brahma gyan chetan brahma jad brahma gyan right understanding you understand the material uh, material world spiritual world all these things you it comes like if i want to understand for example i want to understand tarun now what a full understanding will be i understand him i understand his father right then i understand his children then i understand his bank balance energies what is bank balance energies where he works what he does all these things are included in this person where he, where does he stay all these things will come what the what things he controls now when we talk of understanding god it includes all these things not only god god also part of god time actions karmas all these things are included in knowing god that is a complete understanding but what is this why this knowledge is there remember one thing knowledge is never complete knowledge is only the means to reach the goal knowledge is every time the means that's why knowledge has been called mata what is it called ved mata ved pita or ved mata ved mata the work of the mata is guide this children to the father remember one thing the work of the mata is to guide the children to the father that is the work of knowledge so ved mata actually guides us to lord shri krishna aham bija pradapita krishna says very clear in the gita that i am the seed giving father i am the father of everything very clear is stating this making this statement Subscribe us on youtube.com/givegita. Like us on facebook.com/givegita. Follow us on twitter.com/givegita. Visit us at www.givegita.com. Email us at contact@givegita.com. At